here at the Westmead Institute of Medical Research, I run a research group referred to as the Viromics Lab. So Viromics is that synergy between genomics and virology. I think what really interested me about you know, using genomics to sort of do virology is that it's actually a lot of fun. You're sort of taking technology and you're really understanding fundamental aspects of a virus um, because everything really in terms of its function and what we know about it is inbuilt into its genome. COVID-19 has been a really interesting journey think, for a lot of virologists. And I think what we've learned really is that as a global community, you know, these viruses are not just kind of isolated to one place. Most of these viruses that were imported into our country came from all different parts. And what we really saw is that you had to share that information and the sources that we can understand the impact and how the virus was spreading. Bringing in the sequencing capacity in our lab was really important because we do a lot of research and development and developing new methods to sequence viruses. We bought the iSeq 100 really because it's perfect for doing virology. It's very simple for us to use, it's very straightforward, and I guess some of the maintenance and handling of the instruments really is what any basic molecular lab can handle. Our transition to in-house sequencing has been really straightforward, and this has really been helped by everything Illumina has been able to offer in terms of bringing in staff to demonstrate instruments. After that, we've also been helped in terms of resources and getting access to reagents for the instrument now that we own one to. We need to understand the genomes of these viruses so we can answer all the questions about their origins, how they're evolving, how they're spreading. And I think genomics is a really fundamental part now of virology and it will continue to be for a long time in the future.